some tips for a fun, safe Halloween from Triple Feature Friday. Don't ask insane criminals silly questions like... Are you the mad scientist? What's the dynamite for? Don't let monsters into the immediate family. You only think your stepmother is a monster. Did I mention that she eats people? Don't go to a carnival with this type of ride. For more smart Halloween tips, watch Triple Feature Friday. I'm all ears. Mystery in Dracula's Castle, Step Monster, and Something Wicked This Way Comes. Triple Feature Friday, next week. You're watching the Disney Channel. Here's what's coming up. given the world some of the most memorable songs of all time. Now, she's going home. The Disney Channel presents a special concert and interview with one of music's living legends. Going home, to me, is a concept that is more than just a physical concept. Going home to me is something that is in here. I won't be happy till I see you alone again. Carol King, Going Home, exclusively on the Disney Channel. The Disney Channel takes you into the secret world of a dynamic performer. It's Peter Gabriel, captured on stage in a stunning concert performance. A world premiere special. Peter Gabriel's Secret World, exclusively on the Disney Channel. When the kids go to bed, a whole new world of excitement comes alive for adults. We call it Disney Nighttime. Great shows, movies, and special events every night of the week. Mondays, it's the best of Hollywood with classic motion pictures everyone can agree on. Don't look, don't look, he's too young. I can't let him look. Tuesdays, join us for The American Legacy and witness award-winning documentaries and fascinating films. Wednesdays, it's a new night for comedy tonight. In October, we've got a special Bob Hope Film Festival. <laughs> and don't forget our terrific movies the rest of the week. It's all part of the excitement coming your way this month on Disney Nighttime. Cards and letters have been pouring in. Could you show the old Mickey Mouse Club movies like Spin and Marty? You've asked for your Disney favorites. All right, boys, open the curtains. And now the Disney Channel presents spectacular entertainment at the Disney Drive-In. This is astonishing. Simply astonishing. See the rugged Leslie Nielsen. Even bloodhounds couldn't catch that swamp fox in country like this. The amazing Tommy Kirk. <laughs> the lovely Annette. Sheepers. Plus, more of your Disney favorites. Yes, every Saturday starting at 1.30, the masked adventure Zorro swings into action. Then an hour of adventure with Walt Disney's legends and heroes. Followed by your favorite serials like Spin and Marty, Annette, and the Hardy Boys. And spectacular movies from the Walt Disney Studios. 
I guess now they ought to know what to watch for. So pull up to the Disney Drive-In, where we're serving up your favorites. Good deal. Every Saturday, starting at 1.30 on the Disney Channel. The Disney Channel proudly presents Denzel Washington, Emma Thompson, Kenneth Branagh, Michael Keaton, Keanu Reeves, Robert Sean Leonard, and Kate Beckinsale in one of the most extraordinary love stories ever told. The world television premiere of Much Ado About Nothing, next on the Disney Channel. Winning isn't everything. It is if you're a coach. A losing coach discovers a winning jungle athlete named Keanu. and brings him home to live life in the fast lane. Nanu sure like the way you teach. What is Nanu? But Voodoo Hoodoo says no no to Nanu. This voodoo doll fix anyone who do bad things to Nanu. This mumbo jumbo's gotta stop. It's gotta end. John Amos and Tim Conway coach Jan Michael Vincent as the world's greatest athlete. Sunday at 7, 6 Central. There's a new dad on the Disney Channel. Y'all gonna love this. And he's not afraid to tell it like it is. Hey, Zena, you look like Don King Jr. <laughs> you didn't do your homework, and you ditched your father. Guess where you're not going? I'm not going to Disneyland! Check out the family fun on the Sinbad Show. Monday, 7 p.m., 6 Central. Monday, on Disney's newest action series. Big shake, wait for some. Go now. A natural disaster is heading for Orca. An earthquake, really. Threatening to destroy the underwater city. Seismic activity detected. Activity increasing. So, how did you know about the earthquake? Friend tell me. Charlie. But will Neri's early warning give away her secret? I know you and your brother are up to something. Find out on Ocean Girl, Monday at 7.30, 6.30 Central. The Disney Channel's world premiere miniseries. By Way of the Stars continues Wednesday. Lucas finds himself prisoner. What are you going to do with me? The Sioux believe you possess magic. Magic? Now Carl races to find his son before time runs out. It's a big country, Mr. Byman. Man, there's a lot of space out here. I've searched everywhere. No one's seen them. I won't lose my son again. Don't miss the exciting conclusion of By Way of the Stars. Wednesday at 7, 6 Central. You're watching the Disney Channel. Here's what's coming up. Hi, I'm Eric Boardman. You know, just one of the reasons I love Disneyland is it's a place where things aren't always what they seem to be. It's a place where Unreal can become real, the real can become unreal. <laughs> 25 years ago, a brand new form of entertainment opened up right here in the Enchanted Tiki Room. It was a new way of bringing inanimate objects to life called audio animatronics. Isn't that right, Jose? See. <laughs> this is Jose, one of the stars of the Enchanted Tiki Room. And you've been working here day in, day out, well, since 1963, right? See. Uh huh. And you were part of the very first audio animatronic show ever, right? See. Uh, don't you say anything besides see? See my voice behind you. Ah, ah, ah. My voice behind you? Oh, it's Wally. This is Wally Bogue, the star and comedian of the original Disneyland Golden Horseshoe Review. See. Now, cut that out. <laughs> don't you hate these one-word interviews? Yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> I don't know. Shall we sit down? Let's. Okay. Wally? Yeah? Take me back to the very beginning of the Enchanted Tiki Room, will you? Okay, let's go back. Oh, no. <laughs> well, 24... Let's go back 24 years ago when I had the pleasure of working with Walt. One morning we went in, and we presented our script. He says, that's it. Let's record it. The next day we recorded it. It's still going here in Florida. The same show. We didn't change word. One of Wally's Tiki Room writing partners, Marty Sklar, is now president of Walt Disney Imagineering. Audio animatronics was an idea of Walt's to carry out the animation that he, that he really started in cartoons. And 
over time, he became interested in taking that out of a two-dimensional form and moving it into a three-dimensional form. So he experimented with ways that he could move small figures. Early on, uh, Walt had Buddy Epson come in and do a dance routine for him, and he photographed it. Then he had the engineers try to duplicate the dance with a small figure that was manipulated by cams and wires. When Disneyland came along, Walt wanted to have different uh, kinds of human and animal forms in the shows. Audio animatronics was used for the first time in a show in Disneyland called the Enchanted Tiki Room, where birds sing and, and uh, flowers croon, as they say. Well, the New York World's Fair was really a watershed in the development of audio animatronics because all of uh, what Walt Disney did at the New York World's Fair depended on this new uh, process. We did uh, four shows for the fair. Uh, great Moments with Mr. Lincoln, which later became the Hall of Presidents at uh, the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, and uh, a show called The Carousel of Progress that we did for General Electric uh, that played after the World's Fair played for five years in Disneyland and then another 10 years in Walt Disney World has just closed as the longest running show in the history of the theater. And the third show was called Magic Skyways and uh, it became the uh, primeval diorama at Disneyland. That was part of that show. But the fourth is easily the best known and uh, probably the favorite uh, uh, show that's ever been done in the Disney parks, and that's It's a Small World. We already had in the ground in New Orleans at Disneyland the foundations and the steel for a major show about the Pirates of the Caribbean, which was going to be a walkthrough. When we came back from the first year of the World's Fair, Walt said, we can't do this as a walkthrough. We've learned too much. So. He tore, had the steel torn out of New Orleans, and we went back to square one and developed the whole idea for the boat ride through the Pirates of the Caribbean with probably 85 or 90 pirates sacking the town and attacking ships, and probably has become the quintessential uh, uh, major theme show in a Disney park. Over time, we have uh, continued to develop these figures, always trying to achieve more lifelike animation to a point where the American Adventure became the epitome of that kind of animation. Thomas. It is difficult to make 13 clocks chime at the same time, but we must carefully justify the separation. Dr. Franklin, while you slept soundly through the meeting this afternoon, we did manage to justify separation. The Bear Band Bears will play now in the good old key of G. Zeke and Zeb, Ted and Fred, the Bear named Tennessee. Zeke's a twanging on the banjo and a tapping with his feet. A banging on the dish pine with a real old country beat. I met up with two of the wizards who helped program these amazing figures. Now, how do you make them move? Well, it's all done on this computer system here, and it's analog and digital control where you simply uh, turn a knob like this here and the computer records it immediately. And just by pushing a button, it'll play it back. Eric, why don't you give it a try here? Oh, great. Henry, loan me five bucks, huh? Hey, Dave, I'm a bear programmer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Eric, you obviously are the guy who makes Dave move, right? <laughs> In some ways, I guess that's true. I try to su uh, supply the technical support that uh, Dave needs while he's programming the show. Things have gotten much smaller since we began, but took a room full of equipment in Tiki and many cabinets. is now done on a single panel for this show and for some of the new shows that we're doing. This is state of the art now. What was it like 25 years ago? In the very beginning, like the Tiki show, it started off with um, a whole different system where it's, where it's all audio tones. 
from there it moved on to like Mr. Lincoln where uh, we actually had a programmer sit in a harness and try and move that around and then to Pirates of the Caribbean where it was all done on cams where you had these little records you had to actually cut them out to form a shape and then play that back in order to get the right motion but now today it's all done on computer it's real simple you just turn a knob and automatically you can play it back Dave it all seems so perfect uh, does anything ever go wrong Things go wrong all the time. Um, for example, uh, once uh, Gomer, we had a little problem with him with the computer, where when it went out um, with 500 pounds of oil pressure, he actually picked up his piano and threw it on one of the other bears. In your dreams at night, you see bears? Every night. Depends upon what you're programming. If it's Mr. Lincoln, uh, you know, anything can happen. The Pirates of the Caribbean. Does he ever catch that woman? I mean, he's been chasing that one winch for over 20 years, and he never catches her. In your dream, I catch the girl, but uh, the pirate doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see from the enchanted tea... <laughs> I guess I better go off. Uh, sorry, Henry. The show's about to start. So as you can see, from the enchanted tiki room to star tours, 25 years of hard work by Walt Disney Imagineers has made the world of audio animatronics nothing short of miraculous. Thanks for watching the Disney Channel. Here's what's coming up. Their five distinct personalities created one of the greatest groups of the 70s. No, stop now, the Sunday Night Showcase explores the Fleetwood Mac phenomenon in an exclusive special. Look back at more than 25 years of Fleetwood Mac with revealing personal interviews. You know, you talk about the music, but then beyond that, people talk about the success or they talk about the, quote, musical soap opera. Candid behind-the-scenes footage. I play as I feel it. And the unmistakable sound that is Fleetwood Mac. Tell me lies, tell me sweet From executive producer Mick Fleetwood comes an up-close and personal music special. I suppose you'll have to take us out and shoot us. To get rid of us. And the only place you'll see it is on the Disney Channel. Fleetwood Mac going home. Sunday at 9, 8 central on the Sunday Night Showcase. Sometimes, when you look around, everything seems still and calm on the surface. And then you detect a little disturbance. And you know for sure underneath the surface lies some other secret world. One, two, three. The Disney Channel is presenting the world television premiere of rock and roll artist Peter Gabriel in his most extraordinary stage show to date, Peter Gabriel's Secret World. This particular show, uh, I was very keen to do something different visually. You know, it's really, I think it's the biggest show visual thing that I've done live. The show is a marriage between art and rock, featuring musicians from around the world, a 53-member crew, a 120-foot stage weighing 26 tons, and a staggering array of special effects. During the show itself, you, the crew are very busy. There's a lot of things that you don't see uh, from the outside that are actually uh, going on underneath. A lot of people put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into making Secret World, and I think it ended up with something that was different from other shows. After breaking off from the popular rock band Genesis, Gabriel launched his solo career as a pioneering performance artist, creating and producing his own music and stage shows and imaginative music videos. It's an ongoing process developing the secret world. We wanted to try and break some new ground, so I'm happy that this is going to get seen on the Disney Channel. This month, it's the world premiere of Peter Gabriel's Secret World, only on the Disney Channel. Get ready for the October-November issue of the Disney Channel magazine. It's filled with exciting new articles and features for everyone in the family. First, meet a master of movie magic, Kenneth Branagh. This gifted actor, director, and star of Much Ado About Nothing talks about his fascinating career in an in-depth profile. And check out two new Disney Channel exclusives. 
On page 45, plunge into undersea adventure in Ocean Girl. And on page 48, you'll find that lovable bear is back in the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Plus, look for your entry form for the Play School Presents the Disney Channel's Adventures in Hollywood Sweepstakes. The grand prize winner and three guests receive five fun-filled days and four nights in Hollywood, California. No purchase is necessary. Void were prohibited. Entries must be received by 12 15 94. And of course, as always, at the center of the magazine, you'll find our complete and easy-to-use weekly schedule grid with our new fall lineup of programs. Find out what's happening on the Disney Channel in the October-November issue of the Disney Channel Magazine, celebrating the American Teacher Awards on the cover.